Hi everyone, Sandra from Scarfs of Beauty, and this is an impromptu stream. Uh, it's Saturday night here, and um, this is just strictly a haul from Hobby Lobby. I know everybody's showing their haul from Hobby Lobby, and if that's something you're not interested in, then this is not the video for you. <laughs> so, um, so I wasn't going to my Hobby Lobby because I had gone last week, and the only reason I went today is because the pink elf had asked me to pick up these for him. He wants these, um, or have you ever seen these, these pegs? They're kind of like Prima's pegs, so they have the numbers. So I actually um, used a coupon because these were not on the clearance. And you can see there, they're $19.99. So he asked me to pick those up for him, so that was the reason why I went to Hobby Lobby today. Hi, Janet. Oh, my gosh, Janet. There is a girl I met in the aisles of Hobby Lobby. Her name is, and I don't think she's here. She said she might come on. Uh, Roo, or she said her, I think she said her chat name is Roo Roo. Um, but she said that, um, cause I walked in the aisle and she was buying the, uh, the markers from Hobby Lobby and she turned right to me and said, cause she had recognized me. And so she says, um, oh, you're Zandra. What did they say? The sparkling mermaid. <laughs> That's what she called me. You love sparkles of mermaids. She said, um. So she did your um, scavenger hunt, and she did it in two weeks. I told her she should post it, but I think she's kind of shy. So did she finish your scavenger hunt in two weeks? And then her and I are, well, she said she was going to the Diane Reevely class, and so am I. She's going with her sister. <laughs> I'm famous. Yeah. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Yeah, so see, other people are out there, and they've all finished it. So even though if you don't know it, she did finish hers. So <laughs> that was funny. All right, so let me start off. I'm going to start off with um, some of the things that Dee Dee had showed. So she had showed the um, gesso, Bob Ross's gesso. And so it was regular $16.99. I got it for $4.24. You can always use gesso. So I did get that. Um, I did get one. They had one of these on sale, so this with the palm trees I thought that would be good for our trip to um, Australia so it was regularly 20 for five there he is a pink elf I was just talking about you did you see I got you your things and I made hubby go with me so he we could use the 40 off so we wind up getting this one 40 off this one the love one we wind up getting this one's the only one I can use a coupon on because we each could only use the coupon and I got you the big one so I got all three, and two of them with the coupon. So there you go. So there's Steven, the pink elf. <laughs> yes, yeah, isn't that? This is a cool one. I'm waiting to see if they put, they're supposed to put the Tim Holtz ones or the Sizzik ones, but they didn't have the clearance up there yet. So I um, I have to text my girlfriend and ask her to hold them for me. <laughs> so, you know, I, I love Finnebar's um, art stones. So... I don't know why anybody's passed these up, but these were regularly $5.99 for $1.49. So I got the big ones, I have the middle ones, and I got the teeny tiny ones. So that was a good buy for $1.49. And I actually bought two so that I could give um, a set to Jen. But I got just these two. I didn't get her the big stones. So these will go to, uh, to Jen. So I got those. Yeah, so if you look at, if you go there, look for these, because these are just like Finnebar's little stones, or art stones. Got that. Yeah, be yeah. <laughs> yeah, the art stones are great, right, Eileen? And I did buy these for the gel plate. These were $1.99 for $0.28. Cents. So I did that one. I got actually two of the stars. So, two of the stars. I bought one of the hearts. 28 cents foam and I got a crown that one was 47 regular dollar 99 so you have those art stones that was a good buy wasn't it Joan dollar 49 so that was really good I did get two of these pens so I have to try these out so these are the mink pens so that you could foil them so you can see there this was 4.99 for 72 cents so I got, actually got two of those. So we can try the foiling one night. So I'll put that over here. Oh, 
content. The art stones, remember I used them in my canvas. They're um, just to give texture. So that was 72 cents, wasn't that? Right, that little mink pen. Oh my gosh, I did get this. This was the Aquafine Dollarani or watercolor set. So I thought maybe I would bring this. Instead of bringing all of my Jane Davenport ones, this was small enough. I thought I could actually bring that. So that was regularly $24.99 for $6.24. So, so now my question is, has anybody seen, I made my, <laughs> it was pretty warm here today. It was um, close to 58 or 55, something like that. We actually give the dogs a bath today. <laughs> they needed it. Anyway, so what I did was, um, has anybody ever used um, ocean water to uh, watercolor with? Hey, CB. So I was wondering how that would work. We might try that at the end. So let me see what that is. So I actually had him go, and he got me some Manasquan beach water. So I was wondering, oh, you can see there's sand all over in my bottle. <laughs> so I was wondering, has anybody um, actually watercolored with seawater? Anybody know? I'm going to put this off. Well, hold on. I'm going to clean my desk off now. <laughs> got sand all over it. I was just wondering how that would react. The only thing about Jane's uh, mat, it's so sticky. Uh, not so sticky, but it has a stickiness to it. And so, like, everything sticks to it. Hair, dog hair, <laughs> everything. It's good when you don't want things to move around. Uh, the mermaids do it all the time. <laughs> I was going to try it and see what happens. You never did? I don't know. We're going to try it. All right. So we'll try that before we go. Now we'll be asking, yeah, you'll be asking your beach people to send you beach water. <laughs> it would leave a residue and dry out. You might not want that. I know, but maybe that would be cool. Like if you were using blue, you know, blue for water and it was drying in certain spots. I don't know. We'll try it and see. So um, Dee Dee also showed these, so I did get these. Kind of like the mermaid markers. So they were $14.99 for $3.24. So I'm thinking I'll probably go back and get um, Jen a set of these. Because I didn't even think about Jen. So I'll probably do that. Because I want to bring her a little package of stuff from here that she probably can't get. So I probably will bring her this, some of these. <clears throat> and then I did get some little, they had some little charms. So I did get, you can see this one was 80 cents, regularly $4. So these are just four leaf clover, little metals. And we'll end up getting this one for 44 cents. So you can see that with the eagle. It's got a little crown on it. It's really cute, cute you know, because I use that all for my canvases. I got that for 44 cents. Um, this one for 22 cents. Can you see this one? So I thought I'd put that for H for Harry Potter when I do my Harry Potter um, stuff. So that was cute. Little charm. Is the only charm? Oh, and I got this big one. This one says 44 cents. And it says sore. Whoops. <laughs> sore. It's got some glitter. Yeah, you can see the glitter there. Thank you. So that was my charm. Oh, I got one more. This one was a vintage one. For 36 cents, it's got a little a little guy there. I don't know if you can see it in a little sunflower. That's a little guy's face right there. Cute, right? Um, and then Dee Dee had got me the glitter inks. Thanks, Janet. Yeah, it was it was it is a really big big deal. I mean, there the clearance that they have going on right now is like unbelievable. So I got the ones that Dee Dee didn't get me. Yeah, right, Stephen. It's Christmas all over again. Exactly. So I got the um, cadmium yellow. So these were $4.99. Now, in Dee Dee's Hobby Lobby, she paid $1.24, I think. And mine, they were only $0.99. Cents. So I did get the yellow. And she had got me a pink, but she didn't get me um, this 
uh, medium magenta. You see that? Medium magenta. Um, this one is cadmium red. So if you can see that. It looks kind of pinkish, but it says supposed to be red. Um, this one is uh, neutral gray, and they're all glitter inks. So we used the gold one the other day, and it is glittery. It's almost like the uh, mermaid markers. It's like such fine glitter. It's really cool. This one is orange. You can see the orange there. Orange. You got the, you got the pink. It was dollar twenty four. Yeah, for some reason, my at my um, Hobby Lobby, they were all ninety nine cents. So that was yay. <laughs> um, this one is a violet. Violet purple. Is that? Um, this one is raw umber. Raw umber. And then this one is phthalo green. And so now I'll have all the colors. When Dee Dee sends me the other ones, I'll have all of them. <laughs> I get a frequent buyer discount. <laughs> so that was really good. So I got those. I'll put those in here. And then um, I'll show you the inks. So I did wind up getting the FW inks. And whatever doubles, if I have doubles, I'll probably send them to, I'll give them to Jen. So I did get the neon set. So take that off. So I'll see if I can. So this is the um, orange, fluorescent red. See how bright that is. Fluorescent red. This one is the fluorescent orange. Orange. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> this one is fluorescent green. This one is the blue. So they're all flu fluorescent. Blue. Now this one looks... Oh, this is the pink. Like a hot pink. That one's pretty. And then this one is yellow. Like a highlighter yellow. So I got those. And then I got these. <laughs> these. <laughs> yeah, they're super bright. They're fluorescent ones. Yeah. Really bright. And then, so I bought this. So I use this for my coupon um, so that I could store them in here. So, let's see. <laughs> you got a Hobby Lobby? You did, Eileen? <laughs> She's probably joking. Probably put, like, nothing. <laughs> so I did get, and I can't read all these colors without. They're so thin. I mean, so small. <laughs> Yes, she is. She probably didn't put anything on there. So they were all $1.49. So you could see in the regular $5.99. So this one is Mean Violet, Moon Violet. And this is one of the pearlescent ones. So it's that pretty. Let's see. So I'm going to add those these other ones in here too. This one is And it's funny how each Hobby Lobby's got a different one. Purple Lake so you can see dark purple. So I actually have some purple now. <laughs> this one is dark green. Looks almost like a jade blue, but it's dark green. This one is marine blue. See that? It's like a blue, marine blue. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> um, this one is... This one says Payne's gray, but it looks so blue in here. So I don't know if you could see. Like when you hit the rim of it, it's kind of a blue, but it's supposed to be Payne's gray. This one is Prussian blue. This one is another pearl. This is uh, another violet, but this is a pearlescent one. Is that the same one as this one? Promenade. No, different. 
And then I think I have, like, before I got these, I think I had just the white, black. I think I have the gold and maybe a silver. So I think I pretty much have all the colors now. Um, this one is yellow ochre. Hey, Linda. <laughs> what do I apply with the glitter ink? Um, you just use it with a water brush or a paint brush. You could use a dip pen and you could actually write with it. Um, I used it in my journal and I just did it with a paintbrush. So you could use it for anything really. This one is Indian yellow. Indian yellow. This one is, I like this one. This is not a pearlescent one. This one is Process Magenta. So it's like a reddish pink. This one is orange, orange flame. It's like orange. Hi, Vicola. Hi. Um, process magenta. So didn't I just say that? So I must have two. So I'll give one of these to Jen. This one is crimson. Crimson. This one. This is another pearlescent. I would have liked to have more of the pearlescent ones. This is a pink sundown magenta. It's like a pink pearlescent. And then this, these are greens. I got like five or six greens. This one is, I don't know what it is. This one is olive green. This one, emerald green. And then some of them, I don't know if they were good because, like, when you, you could see maybe at the bottom, they're a little bit separated. So I hope they're good. This is a pearlescent one, this one. This one is Genesis green. It's like a lime. You can see it's sparkly lime green. And I think this is the same, so I'll probably give this one, yep, yeah, so I'll probably have, um, so I have two for Jen so far. Um, sap green, so you can see that one, sap green. And see this one, it's kind of like, see how it is at the bottom, it's like cookie, do you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, even when I kind of mix it, I don't know, so I'll have to, I'll have to see how that works. <laughs> they rock, oh they do, thanks. Yeah, because see this one too, it's like not really mixed, but that's good. Like I said, even if I get one or two that are kind of bummers, it's, you know, it's still worth it. And this one is emerald, emerald green. And then I got uh, terracotta red, kind of like a rust color. This one is, is this one? raw sienna. See that one, Ross Sienna. I have to shake them a lot. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. Uh, can I get that one in there? No. And then the last one is Cool Gray. Now, they had pearlescent ones. I was hoping to get that in the gray, but they didn't. So let me see if I hopefully I can fit them all in here. Maybe not. Maybe. Ugh. No, one short. I'll put the fluorescent ones in here. Can I get them? No. I definitely want to get these in there. Probably that one like that. So those were my inks. So I'm going to put that over there on the stairs. And then uh, I should have had... Um, you guys look at the books. Like the books are like unbelievable. All right, so let me let me put this on the stairs and I'll get the others. Let's stick that there. So hold on one second. Hi, Kalina. Oh, so I did get um, Heidi Swapped um, words. I think Ann showed these. They come in black and white, and they were only a dollar. That was regularly five dollars. Um, I did get the Dilutions um, 
because I'm going to see uh, to go to her class. So of course I want to put some of my things. We actually don't have to bring anything other than a couple gel pens. So hopefully we're going to get her new book and some of her new journals and stuff. So I'm excited for that. So that's the end of February. So I did use my coupon for that. So I did that. Now these books. They had all kinds. Mandela's. I mean, any kind of book there you wanted. It was like, oh my gosh, I can't get over the books. So let's see. So here is Zen Doodle. Uh, oodles of doodles. Can you see what that is? It was regularly $20. 62 cents. I'm sorry, CP. I don't want to show off. I just want to show you guys. You need to go look at the books. <laughs> um, yeah, you have to ask because a lot of them are putting them in. Diane Relief bags were $9.99 and I had my 40% coupon. <laughs> Can you believe that though? I mean, look at that. How can that be? 62 cents. <laughs> 62 cents. So, I mean, look how cute. Look how cute that is. So, I figure I'm going to bring probably one of these books um, on the plane so I could do some, 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 some oodle doodles. <laughs> I know. Look at that. 62 cents. Can you believe that? Look at that one. <laughs> I know CP, but sometimes, you know, when people look at hauls, so sometimes I feel like, I don't know, you really put a haul up or, you know, because if you don't have a Hobby Lobby, then you feel bad that you can't get those things. <laughs> I mean, this one's a really cute one, isn't it? The clearance books, um, in my Hobby Lobby, they were in part of the clearance section, but like all the way towards the wall. And then some of the clearance books were in when the clearance, you have to look around at your store because they're like in different spots. They're not all in the clearance section. So you never looked at the books. You got to look at the books now, especially if you're in doing Zantangle or uh, Mandela's. There was a three or four um, $20 books for like 86 cents in the Mandela's. You got to look. So... So there's that. And it does have, you know, the step outs, just like you guys did. So I'm going to have to do myself a little journal. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited for uh, Diane Reevely's class. So, and then the girl, uh, I guess I should have asked her name. I'm going to be calling her Ruru all the time. <laughs> um, so her and her sister are going. So at least I know somebody because I didn't know anybody. And that class was sold out in two days. Two days her class was sold out. And it's at Ranger. So Ranger, you know, got, you know, there it's, it's like 25 minutes from my house. So. <laughs> so let me see. So, so this is only like one. I got like, I don't know, six or seven books. Look at this one with the seahorse. And I thought I would do some of these before I go to Dan, Diane, uh, Diane Reevely's class. Um, because they kind of remind me of her um, embellishments. Um, Linda, you could go either to the one in Homedale. Um, they're already clearance their stuff out. I went to the one in um, Howell and the one in Manalapan. So there's three of them because there's three right by us. So either one of those three you could go. Um, the one in Manalapan I think is going to start reducing theirs Monday, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, the one in Homedale already has their stuff clearanced. They already had uh, the Sizzix dies. They had Tim's stuff, um, his chit-chat words, um, some of his daubers, his distress crayons were, um, I forget what they were. I want to say maybe three bucks. I can't remember. Um, so, but look how cute. <laughs> so I'll probably take this book with me on the plane um, with the little book that Janet made me, and I probably will. Um, thank you. So, I mean, how can you go wrong with this book? You just can't for 62 cents. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at those. So, the rest I have to show is books. So, if you guys are not interested in books. I, oh, no. I have a couple of other things. Mermaid things to show. <laughs> so, you might want to stick around. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a two-day class. It's two full days. So, it's uh, the end of February. And it's all day Saturday and all day Sunday. So, and they said the only thing we need to bring is just our favorite gel pens. We're actually going to get her book. So I'm hoping it's the big giant book. And um, 
I'm hoping that they give us some of her new journaling things. So I'm hoping to get her tapes. Although I have her tapes on her washi tape on order. So look how cute. <laughs> I know you can't go. It's like I every time I saw a book, look at this one. I couldn't, when it was, when it was under a dollar, it was like I couldn't resist it. <laughs> I just couldn't. I couldn't leave it there. So that one's a good one. I think this one's a really good one. So this is Zen Doodle Oodles of Doodles. And this is Tonya Jenny. Tonya Jenny. So that was a really good book. I'll have to show you these. So I did pick up Don't Tell Diane. <laughs> don't tell Diane what? <laughs> oh, don't tell her you said hi. <laughs> I did pick up one of these for CB and Janet. So I hope you guys don't have this. But here's another one. Can you see what that was? $19.99 for $1.03. $1.03. Okay, Galena. So this one is for Janet, and I got one for CB. So do you girls have these? So I brought them. I'm going to give you them to go on the plane. So if you want to bring a little, look how cute that is. <laughs> So this one is one for CB and one for Janet. See, like here, look at that. You don't have a dude, Janet? See, like here. I mean, I couldn't let it go for dollar three. It was like no way. <laughs> like oh my gosh, look. Can you see that? So definitely if you have a Hobby Lobby, don't overlook the books. I told Dee Dee that she should have gone and looked at it. You don't. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, so then bring something so that you can doodle on a plane. Then tangle on a plane. There's that. This one's pretty, too. I might have to copy some of these. Do you don't have it, do you, CB? Yeah, that one. It's like a little postage stamp. There's another one there. Look at that. And then this one has got shapes and objects. Yeah, because I thought about that too. If um, Because you can send them media postage, so then it shouldn't cost too much to send out. But Not that. Oh, good. All right. So, yeah. So, bring something and then you could, we could all then doodle on a plane. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you can? So, this one's a nice one. Look at the kitty cat. <laughs> this one has animal and beets. So, oh, look at all the, I like the mushroom. Look at that one. So, there's Entangle books. So, I thought were pretty good. Like, I never really noticed them before. But, when I was, like, when I was in there, it was like, oh, my gosh, a dollar. <laughs> you can peacock. You can reverse the collage in those books, or you can. There's another one. <laughs> Happy Lobby. I like this one. I'll have to copy that one. <laughs> because when CB and I and Tammy were with CB, Tammy, myself, who was the other person? There was like four of us, and we did shapes, and we then tangled and handed to each other. That was fun. I can't remember who the other person was. Amalia. I think it was Amalia. That's who it was. You would have Dorothy. Like, look at that one with the, look at that one with the piano. Looks like piano keyboard. That one's a cool one, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Look. Thank you. That shows a little kitty cats. I like that one. Look at a dragon. Look at that one. And the fish. <laughs> oh, that one. The little heart. So I definitely want to do some of these and bring them to Diane Reevely's class. So I'll have my own embellishments. Um, so that's a heart, heart, more hearts. So yeah. So if you're interested in this book, again, this one is edited by Tanya Jenning and Amy Jones. So that was Zen Doodles, Tons of Tangles. So those are for CB and Janet. 
And then this one I had to crack up because when I took Jane Davenport's um, Her Mermaid class, she um, had used this book. So, of course, I went on Amazon because I wanted to use the same exact thing she did. I forget what I paid for the book. I want to say 17 or $18 on Amazon. So, here you go. $16.95, $1.47. So, this one, and this one's kind of like a hard, hard back. My other one's soft, so I'm going to probably cut up my other one and save this one. So, but yeah. Can you look? Can you see that? It's a coloring book. I can't get over that. I can't get over any of these books. So, and so I can just actually rip these pages out now and color them because I have another book. <laughs> so this is perfect for my mermaids. You don't need a thing. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we did this in her class where we actually took like say something like this and made a dress out of it and then put a little girl on it. So, yeah. So that was really really good. So I was happy to get that book. So then I could cut cut the other one up. <laughs> so there you can see that. Right? It's a cool coloring book. That one. You have the Dover, oh, you have his of the, the his designs. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Like this one's all you know with the sea theme. Like so, like this one, we actually would put a body on it. You know, I have um, I think I showed it to you in my journals that I did for her. I think she actually used this one. I can't remember which ones we used exactly, but so this one's a cool one. So I was happy to get that. So that one is Ernest Hackle coloring book. You see that one? Ernest Hackles. So now this next one, if you want this one, Eileen, I had you in mind, and I'm going to send you to you if you want it. So this one is, again, you see what that price is? $16.25. It was $16.25 for $1.47. And it, again, it's hardback. So if you want this, Eileen, I'm going to send it to you. Fractal art. Because she does some, Eileen does some good fractal stuff. <laughs> so it's a coloring book by Doug Harrington. And so it has the colored pictures. So you can see the colored pictures of all the fractals. Can you see that one? Can you see them all? And then each one of these is blank so that you can color them. So can you see that? So some of these are pretty good. Well, I know Eileen, she did a whole thing of fractals. Okay, so I'll send it to you then. Yep, can you see that? So it's nice. It's got the one page so you could actually rip it out, you know, and color on the one side. So... Yeah, I mean, a dollar forty-seven. How could I pass that up? I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't pass it up. Oh, hi! What was I thinking? So that's some of that. Like this one reminds me of the octopus um, tentacle. So these will be cool for you to um, to color, Eileen. So, and the paper is pretty thick. It's thicker than um, thicker than copier paper. So, so I want to see you color a couple of these. <laughs> so you can see that. Some of them are really intricate. So I want to say they have over 50 pages. Yeah, 50 pages. So 50 things. Yeah, so I'll just go through that. Yeah, if you go on Eileen, what, Eileen, what is it that you, because she had a whole bunch of fractals that she showed us one day, but I forget where it is. So you can see that. But see how pretty that is? Oh, it's like you can look at it really close there. So just 
go through some of them, some of the bigger ones. Yeah, my section had, I'm trying to think what else they had there. They had little kids' books. They had a lot of coloring books. Oh, my gosh. If anybody's into coloring, want it for like 62 cents and 86 cents, that was like a bargain, some of those coloring books. So, so there's another one. So bring some of these up close so you can see there. Another fractal. So now tell me again, Eileen. It probably tells me here what a fractal really is, in case somebody doesn't know, because I didn't know until Eileen told me. It says, zoom in or out, and you will find within a fractal the same simple but irregular shape re replicated itself uh, in complex patterns. Or well, these are often resembled structures in the world around us. A nautilus shell, a snowflake, a spider's web. Nature has its limits, but the fractals devised from mathematical formulations are infinite both outwardly and inwardly. Fractal ge uh, geometric creates a space where repetition is beauty, where math is art, and where perfection is possible. <laughs> so so that's the that's fractals. So, but um, they look so cool. Um, what's nice about this book, can you see, it's actually bound, like stitched. Can you see? It's got the stitching in there. So it's got the, um, so it lays nice and flat, too. So, hi, Ange. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Poor Ange showed her haul, too, that she got. <laughs> so I showed most of it. Now I'm into, um. I'm into just showing the books now. Like, look at this one. This one looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, it's recording, though, so if you want to come back and see it, it's recorded. Most of it's recorded. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing will be recorded. So, so again, so I'm going to send this book out to Eileen because she loves doing the fractals. She does such a great job with the fractals. So you can see that one there. Look at that. Hi, there's Roro. <laughs> Meet Janet, Janet Roro. Robo, Roro was at Hobby Lobby, and she was the one who finished your scavenger hunt in two weeks. Two weeks she finished. Hi, how are you? Well, what's your real name? Because, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be calling you Roro from now on. <laughs> oh, hi, Dar. <laughs> yeah, Roro is here. I was just talking about you before, before I came on. Yep, and she's actually going to Diane Reevely's class with her sister, and so I'll go too. So save me a seat if you get there first. <laughs> At least I'll know somebody. Rhonda, Rhonda Lynch, so there you are. Because she was the one who met me and said, Oh my gosh, wasn't it great to be on Dee Dee's stream and see all the sales? <laughs> oh, there's Janet's fractal. So she's on Flickr. So you can see her, um, uh, Janet, Eileen's fractals on her Flickr page. So, so I'm just showing the books, Roro. Did you, I'm going to call you Roro from now on. Rhonda, did you go back to the books? Because I was showing her the books. And um, she just had bought one of the Zentangle books at Michael's. And when I showed her, it was like 86 cents. <laughs> she couldn't believe it. Uh, all right. So that is the fractals, which I will be. So they have a picture of every fractal. Frac fractal in color so like this one with the octopus kind of the octopus can you see that one so if you didn't if you were lost to how to color it you could use these pictures to color because they colored every 50 of them can you see that so there's that one I love these that look like a uh, octopus leg like <laughs> All right, so that book, again, is Fractal Art, a Coloring Book by Doug Harrington. Regularly $16.25 for $1.47. <laughs> so I will send that out to Eileen. All right, so I think this was the one that R uh, Rhonda got. Was, the Zen was it this one, the Zen Doodle one? So this was $17.95. $1.55. <laughs> now, don't be hating. <laughs> and I thought this was a cool one. So this one is by Meditative Drawing to Calm Your Inner Self by Suzanne Shaddad. Shaddad. So, 
That's this one. So I thought this one was a cool one, too. So again, it gives you all the, you know, things to use, what to use. And then it has all the different patterns. Uh, let's see. Is this this one? Again, and what's nice, it has a color, coloring there, each pattern, how it goes. So I thought for the long uh, flight, because our flight is, I think it takes me five hours to get to San Francisco. Well, I'll meet up with Janet and CB. And then another, what is it, another 18 hours or 20 hours from there? <laughs> so we'll have plenty of time. And I can't sleep on a plane, so <laughs> that's what I'll be doing. What was 75 cents? I missed it. Oh, your grandkids call you Roro? Okay. <laughs> So, some more Zantangle patterns. So again, band patterns. So, different bands like that. A million hours, that's what it's going to seem like. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going to be like, ugh, it's going to be rough. Rough, because when I went to Australia, when Gabby was um, taking school there, um, that first day, oh my gosh, we were miserable that first day. Ugh. And they say the best thing to do is when you get there, and we're getting there like 6.30 in the morning, is not to go to sleep. You have to work, you know, pretend like it's a whole day, and we'll already been up like 25 hours, and then go to sleep that night. So, oh my gosh, it's going to be like, wow. Yes, um, Janet and CB my, and myself, we're going to see uh, Jen, Osgrand Jen in Australia. And then we're going to go to Melbourne. I found a national park that has these cool wood carvings. Oh, my gosh, they're so cool. I'm, like, so excited to go to that park. <laughs> yeah, we have to stay awake. <laughs> you can't go to sleep, CB. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to keep you awake. I have to pinch you. Pinch you to keep you awake. <laughs> Another show. Uh, yeah, three zombies, exactly, that's exactly what we will be. Look at this one, the parrot and the bird. So I've never, you know, I've get either never, I mean, I've seen some doodle, but I've never really looked through some of these books, and some of these are just, like, so cool. So, yeah, so that's what I will be doing on the plane <laughs> in Australia. So, look at the little elephant. <laughs> Stay awake? That's staying awake for, what, two days? Oh, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe CB and Janet can sleep on the plane, but I can't. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be rough. So I figure we just have to go to bed early, like 8 o'clock that night, you know, and then try to go to bed, you know, get up and then try to get to a regular routine. But then who knows? I mean, if we talk to Jen, we could be talking all hours of the night. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> oh. So, all right, so that's this book. So that's Zen Doodles, Meditative Drawing to Calm Your Inner Self by Suzanne Shaddad. <laughs> yeah, CB wants to, <laughs> yeah, if you can sleep on the plane, that's great. I cannot sleep on a plane. This one, I'm really looking forward to this one. Now, there's another one. 1999, right? $1.30. A dollar thirty for this. <laughs> so this one is Dangles by Olivia A. Nebler. Nebler. And so I really was looking forward to this one for the Dangles. So of course, what is a dangle? All the different, you know, dangles you can do. Let's see, cool that. I know the dangle book. Isn't it cool, Janet? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so, like here, this one's the letters with the dangles. You have this book, Jennifer? Yeah. Yeah, $1.30. It's like, oh my gosh, I kept going to Jimmy. I was going like, look at this book. Look at this book. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, yeah, so I really like this one with the, d with the dangles. So, so these are all the different letters. So, let me, of course, I have to go to the Z. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's not that good. <laughs> that's just plain little dots. 
I know, right, Pacola? It's like, oh my gosh. It's like I couldn't. I had to finally just get away because how many books did I get? Two, four, six, eight, nine books. I finally had to say I had to get out of there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, and right, Roro, she just bought the dangles for nineteen ninety nine at Michael's. And you know you can't use a coupon at Michael's. So yeah, she had just bought that book <laughs> for and then I got it for a dollar thirty, so <laughs> Oh, uh, you have it too, Eileen? Oh my gosh. So, yeah. So I was excited to see this one, so, because I do like to do the dangles. And who was practicing dangles the other day? Was it Linda? Linda, Holloway Linda. She, she was doing the dangles. She probably would love this book. So, yeah. So I thought this was a cool one. I was really excited when I saw this one. Like, look at that. It's like a little mandala. Cool. This one, everyday dangles. Look at that with the little moon right there. This one with the little tree. See that one there? <laughs> yeah, she did. Linda did some good dangles. Yep. She's so excited too. Did you see? She saw the um, stencils. Um, oh, what's her name? Oh, Jockles carries the stencils where it has the face and then it's got the arms and um, so you could put you could do a whole it's a whole stencil where you can actually do the face, do the hair, do the arms. And she's like, please somebody buy one of my paintings so I can get those stencils. <laughs> mm. I know, Jeannie, you should have looked rats. I tweeted the other day to Dee Dee to look at the books. So it's like, gosh, you got to look at the books when you go there because it's unbelievable. I mean, it's unbelievable. Look at that one. Like, who would think that you could get a book like this for $1.30? <laughs> I just can't. I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. <laughs> All right. So, so there's some more dangles. <laughs> Oh, Linda, Linda said she's hyperventilating over this haul. And you know they're closed tomorrow, Linda, right? So you have to go there Monday morning. <laughs> you have to meet me there. Maybe meet me there Monday and we'll have lunch. <laughs> so there, and look at them. There's a full app that right there. This one is so cool. I'm really was excited to get this one. So again, that's the Art of Drawing Dangles. Bar of Joint Dangles. And it's by Olivia A. Niebler. Yep. And like I said, a dollar thirty. <laughs> right. This is another good one, I thought. <laughs> oh look at this. So here you go. Nine ninety nine. Eighty six cents. Eighty six cents. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So this is actual workbook. So it's Alpha Tangles, Expanded Workbook Edition. And so it's got the, um, it has the tangles, but it also has, um, look like this one with the little fish. Cool. But it has um, space for you to practice. So like here's happy birthday. <laughs> that, but see, and then here you can practice all, it's got all workshops. So this one will be a good one for me to take on the plane because it's already got the um, space to do it. You have this one too, Jennifer? <laughs> yep. And there's the K. So it shows you all the different letters. Well, this one doesn't do step-by-step -step as much. So I would have to probably practice a little because it just gives you the sample but doesn't really show you how to do step-by-step. -step. So. so there's a cool one. The O. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so the last thing that the Z looks like. Wow, not so exciting. <laughs> That's not exciting. The Z. So that was this one. Like I said, 86 cents. Oh my gosh. All right, so that is that one. This was my most expensive one. <laughs> this one. So I'll so keep going with the Zentangles one first. So here's another one. 
$1.47. And this one so reminds me of Diane Reevely that I want to make like some of these so that I'll have them. Check the clock till you come to see you when I come to Hobby Lobby tonight. You can't go to Hobby Lobby tonight. They're closed already. Yeah, you can't go there tonight. They close at 8 o'clock, Linda. <laughs> That's why I say you have to wait till Monday. Meet me at Debbie's in Manalapan, and we'll go out for lunch. All right, so, that, so this one, I really love this one. And did I say who this one was by? Uh, WF Studio. Uh, Walter Forrest. Foster. WF Studio. Walter Forrest. Um, yeah, I tried to do that last night because somebody told me that it was Clarence. And um, Debbie had told me that they were Clarence and stuff out. And so it was like 7 o'clock. And from my house, I would have never made it. So it was like, darn. <laughs> Like, look at this fish. Doesn't that look just like a Diane Reevely fish? So I want to try to do some of these so that I will have them ready for when we do the journal. So, <laughs> I know, it's killing you now. <laughs> should have bought enough for us. <laughs> well, she says, you should have bought enough for all of us. <laughs> well, I did buy for a couple people. <laughs> if I go back with Monday to meet Linda... If I see any more books, I will buy them for, for you guys. So, um, because sending them in the mail, because you could do a magazine, I forget what, it's cheap. It's only like a dollar or two to send. So, yeah. <laughs> no, with the postage, Janet, it's, it's um, yeah, it is. It's a good deal because it's a dollar or two because you're using the media, media mail or whatever it is, or magazine or book mail. So, it only comes to a dollar or two. So, the books won't be expensive. Uh, other than overseas. I'm talking about within the U.S. <laughs> like, like this. Little giraffe. Kitty cat. This like this kitty cat. is almost, doesn't she have a kitty cat? Something similar like that. They didn't have any good books when you looked. Because I bought them all. Real, real. <laughs> I bought them all. <laughs> uh, oh, we're going to do an ATC's Entangle Swap. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, Jennifer. I'll have to practice, so. Yeah, book rate. Thank you, CB. Yeah, if you send a book rate, it's only a dollar or two. So for a dollar forty-seven, it might cost you two dollars, two forty-seven. And some of them that are eighty-six cents, a dollar eighty-six. So, <laughs> so like, look at this border. It looks like the bottom of the sea, like that. So definitely want to do some zentangling so I could take it to her class. <clears throat> See, like some of these are just borders. I had some really cute ones in here. Let's see. Again, like that. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like, do they have do some step outs? So I don't know all of them. But like this. I like these with the circles like this. Circles like that. This almost reminds me of, I think, Patty. Um, Inky Obsession. She has clay. Um, what do you call those? Clay. Um, not mats, but clay uh, templates that are very similar to this. You're going to have to go to Hobby Lobby. Right, exactly. So you have to go to the one that Debbie worked at because I haven't gone there yet, Linda. <laughs> so you can't go to the one in Howell. So you got to go to the one in Manalpin. That's why I said, meet me there. We'll have lunch. <laughs> uh, all right, so then there's that. Like, look at this. Like, um... This peacock feather, so I like to do a couple of these. <laughs> uh, like even just that little thing like that, just to add on the page. Texture plates. Thank you, CB. That's what I was thinking of. Texture plates. That looks exactly like one of Patty's texture plates. Like this. All this reminds me of Diane Reevely. Totally. So if I did a couple of these... And then just cut them out. Just can't decide whether I should do them. Should I do them on regular, like Nina um, paper, or should I do it on watercolor paper? Because if we're going to be spraying and using her um, dilution sprays, I just don't know if I should do it on the Nina or um, or on watercolor paper. <laughs> 
Linda used to take my classes. She used to did a lot of my Tear Bear classes when I used to teach at Scrapper's Cove. So that's where I know Linda. If you're looking in the chat, Linda DB. Um, I know her from Scrapper's Cove because she took a lot, a lot of my um, Tear Bear classes. <laughs> Show you the name of this book again. Yes, this one is Tangled Up. More than 40 creative prompts, patterns, and projects. Oh, here it is by Penny Rail. Smooth watercolor paper. Okay, thank you, Jen. That's what I'll bring. All right, that's what I'll bring. Thank you, Eileen, too. Water paper. Let's all, let's stamp it on that. And then, um, so I just think it would be so cool. I'm sure she'll give us some of her embellishments, but I would like to have some of my own. So, Linda lives up north. Uh, where do you live, Rhonda? Do you live around around uh, Ranger and Titton Falls? Because <clears throat> I'm in Manasquan. Linda, bye, Tammy. Okay. Um, Linda lives up in North Jersey. Oh, so Jennifer says this book is on Amazon for $8.50. Well, that's half price then, because this one at Hobby Lobby was $16.95. So if you're looking for that book, you can find it on Amazon, Jennifer says. Freehold. Oh, so you're close to me. We should get together then. <laughs> All right. Butterflies. Look, look, Ange, butterflies. <laughs> look at this. Like this. I want to do one of these, and I want to do a couple of these. <clears throat> oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, so $8.50 if you're interested in this book for, um, like, look at that. That's something so Diane Reevely with the little caterpillar. Isn't that cute? And like these, like all of these. That's definitely her. Like look at that. Like her stamps. These are just like her stamps. <coughs> all right. So then they go into tangled numbers and alphabets. So, like look at that. I love that. A little dragon. You see that little bug? These have a lot more work. I have to count. I need a. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, that would sound great. Definitely. We'll have to plan it after we meet um, for her class. So this is also numbers. Um, this is Tangle Up fun, Up and Fun. So look at this. The eyes. Those are crazy eyes right there. <laughs> Somebody's stealing somebody's art. You think so? Well, let's see when this was. Was it say when it was printed in China? Well, this is 2015, so, but who knows? Artwork by Penny Rail, 2015. So. Here's little doodle monsters. <laughs> Brandon coming in from Beth Hollow and I'm watching it. Go to make care of some news. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you in February. Thanks, Rhonda. <laughs> Look at this one with the hearts. Some more hearts. You know, I love hearts. Little cute the owl face right there. So definitely love these. Like if this they just took a regular cookie cutter. And then just did the doodles and the cookie cutter. And then the, this book also gives you templates. So you can see that. There's a fish. More doodling. More templates. So it's cool. So I really, really, really like this one for my class. All right, and then my last one, which was oops, the most expensive one. This one was $22.99 for $3.31. And the reason I got this is because I want to um, be able to draw hands and do hair uh, more. So like this one. So it shows you how to do the braid. So not so much for doing mangas, whatever you call these. Yeah, manga art. I did it mostly for um, sketching the hands and stuff. Bodies. 
And like that, I said for three dollars, um, it can go wrong for that. Eyes, different eyes, lips. So I thought this was cool, especially for like long hair. I don't really do guys too much, but like this kind of curly hair. So I definitely got that. Clothes, just here to do clothes. Jane Davenport is coming out with her um, drawing figures book, which is just like her um, heart journaling. I think the class is called heart journaling, art journaling, but heart, H-E-A-R-T. -E so very similar. So that is um, this book. Like I said, I did it mostly for um, the hands and stuff, sitting positions, all that. So, oh, you can get the Zentangles on iPad. All right, so we're not done yet. That was, though, that was my full Hobby Lobby haul, which is a big one. I have two other things to show that I got. So, did you see this, Eileen? I did get this the other day. I wish it um, didn't take so long to dry. It's like you have to wait for an hour or two before you could dry it. But it is, um, these are called mirror sheets or mirror um, by PBO, PEBIO. And they have this little uh, tube that you can sprinkle out. It's got um, a real fine nib to it. So I want to try it one day, but I will have to, I'll have to do it like at the very beginning of the stream. And then by the time the two hours is over, we should be able to do it. So thanks, Janet. Oh, oh I want to remember to do this with the seawater. So we're going to do that before we go. So remind me. So my other thing I wanted to show, where is it? It's here. So Joan, enabler Joan, um, had Christmas time. I'd showed her haul. So, and she had given me these cute little doggy things. So I've been sending them out with different uh, things that I um, give to, gifted to people. And they love the little dogs. So thank you, Joan, for those. They love them. Every time I give it to somebody, they're like, oh, the dog is so cute. <laughs> the manga art is huge with the kids. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So this was something Joan had showed um, that she got for Christmas. I think Paul. Was it Paul that gave them to you, Joan? And, um, of course, I had to get them. So this is by a company called Becky Shedden. Shedden? Shedden? And what else is it? But mermaids. <laughs> so I got that one. This one, I love the little seahorse. Can you see the seahorse on that? And the mermaid there. It's really cute. I love these. These are like seashells, and it's got ocean. And it's got, almost looks like one of Jane Davenport's mermaids right there. Can you see that little tiny one? It's just something like Jane would draw. Had to reload the chat. And I love this one. The mermaid. A lot of people have the stamp of this. Right? Yep. Oh, I love that. And then there's two stencils from that company. So this one here. Mermaids do not fear, fear the storm. They simply ride with the waves. <laughs> and then I got the wave, the wavy one. So this is from uh, BeckyShedding.com.uk. All right. So that now is all my haul. <laughs> all right. So what I wanted to test, which I I don't know, maybe somebody's tried this before. Um, but, you know, usually when you do watercolors, you want to sprinkle salt on it. It gives different effects. So I was wondering what would happen if, where did I get those stamps from um, this company here? It's a UK company, Becky Shedden.com UK. Have you used yours yet, Joan? So I want to see what this is going to be when we use actual water from the beach. So it was pretty warm here today. So I had Jimmy go out and get um, get me some beach water, ocean water, so we could try and see. So this is my little... I'm going to take this one, I think, with me, too. It looks like a little CD case. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Um, take this one, and this was one I got at Hobby Lobby that was $25 for 
and they had a smaller one. The smaller one, I think, was one to say $3.99, but didn't have as many colors, I don't think. All right, so let's see what this looks like. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. She put the uh, link up there. So let's see. Look how cute that is. It comes with this cute little plastic, um, comes with a cute little paintbrush. And then the, they're already out with just the colors on top. So, let us paint something. I'm not going to use this brush. I took a brush out already. That's, I don't care if it gets ruined. So, does this has come out. It has a little pa palette in here. I put water in there. I'm just seeing if I can get this little plastic thing out. Well, I don't want to rip it, so. All right, so let me get some watercolor paper. And we'll paint something and see what it does. Hi, Aunt Maggie. <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, God. Well, you have, she has so much stuff, too. All right. So we have this. Let me wet these. Where's my sprayer? Take my own paintbrush out. Oh no, I lied. That's not the only thing I got. <laughs> Hold on. I guess I did get this other thing. And I was watching um Jane Davenport on Creativation, and she went over to, uh, what's his name, Anth Paul Anthony, who's a calligrapher. He does calligraphy for the Queen, and he did use this curry taki. Did you see this? It's a paste. We'll try this, too. And so he had this little bottle, and I think it's, um, you, he used it for, like, dipping ink, but you can also use it for other stuff, he says. So this is a gold, and it's by Kiritagi. I got it from, I want to say, Jet Pens. So we'll try that. And I did get this ink. So we'll try this. This is Shimmer. Can you see that? And I think this one is, I want to say it's either Teal or, oh, Tropical Glow. Now this is Di Diamond. Diamond. This is the same paint that um, Cece, who get, or gifted me that one painting that had the gold and the glitter in it. So they didn't have the gold. They were all out of the gold. So I wanted to try what this one is. So we'll try that too. All right. So let me see. I have the sea water. I gotta find uh, a little cup to put it in. Mm. Here. I use this well over right here. I'll pour some in there and see how it goes. So has anybody here ever heard of anybody using ocean water to watercolor with? I'm just dying to find out if anybody else has thought of this idea. I'm dripping it all over. Hold on. All right, I'm going to get a paper towel to clean up my mess here. I just spilled Yeah, me either. So let's we'll just see we'll just see what happens. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm going to spritz my paper. So I'll do. I'm not going to cut this in half so we can not use the whole thing. And where's Debbie Boring? I'm going to give that girl peace of my mind. <laughs> I'm kidding, really. I can't believe she's, we were kidding at, um, whose stream were we at? Was it, uh, this morning? Paula's. And we were talking about Timmy's new, <clears throat> all his new tools that, you know, they're red. And now he's switching everything to black. And she's like, I'm switching everything to black. She's like, uh, like a sheep following the, what's his name? 
the guy that plays the flute. I'm like, oh my gosh. Debbie, you are really not switching all your stuff <laughs> just to get the black. She goes, I have to do whatever Timmy says. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to kill that girl. <laughs> All right, so I wet my paper. Let me bring it down a little bit. Oh, there she is. I'm talking about you. Did you hear me? <laughs> oh, my gosh, Debbie. I Good thing you don't live next to me. <laughs> Look at my camera. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's so funny. All right. There we go. So let me move this down a little. Well, I'm going to go down. No, we'll move it down. So I'll have to come down. There we go. All right. Yep, talking about Debbie, and there she is. <laughs> yeah, his scissors are awesome, but she has. She has his scissors, and she's going to go out and get new ones <laughs> just because they're black. Oh, my gosh. All right, so let's see what's going to happen. So let's do it with um, a dark color. So, and I didn't want to ruin any of my other, um, my other watercolors, so I figured for $4 or whatever this is, I got to wet the back. So you see when you curl up like that, you can just wet the back and it just makes it nice and smooth. All right, so, so this is ocean water that I'm putting on here, so I'm interested to see like if it does anything different so it'll be interesting to see if it like dries how it dries so there you can see that mine are old 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 does that count no <laughs> No, because you're switching everything you said, right? You're going to get his scissors. You're getting his tonic stuff. You're getting everything his, right? <laughs> Debbie Boring, she loves Tim. What did you say you were um, sheep? What was it that you said? Sheep something or other. We're like sheep to whatever he does. <laughs> oh, so they are, they are painterly. <clears throat> Jane's new machine. Are you getting Jane's new machine? <laughs> I'm getting Jane's new machine. <laughs> Linda, I was just talking, Mom, everybody I'm talking about tonight is showing up. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> now, I'm getting, I'm getting her new machine. I have two machines, but I'm probably going to sell both of them to get her machine. Linda, I was just showing my Zentangle books. You'll have to go back and look at the recording because she was doing, I'll just show you really quick. I know you don't have Hobby Lobby, but <clears throat> I was showing these, um, the Art of Drawing Dangles, and I got this book for a dollar thirty. It was roughly twenty bucks, and it has all the little zentangles in here. Cause she did an awesome job doing uh her zentangles, her dangles. <laughs> all right, so let's put another color in here. So let's try um, let's try this purple. Purple. This one. I know it was a cool book, wasn't it? I had so many nice um, bargains in books from Hobby Lobby. It was like sinful. <laughs> All right. So again, this is just the uh, ocean water. So I want to see how it reacts. If it does anything different than regular water. So you can see that there. It doesn't look like there's anything different. So I'm waiting to see. Well, we'll let it dry. I might have to put the heat gun to it. But I thought that it would do, like, since it's got salt in it, that it would, like, do, like, salt bursts or something. Apparently not. Well, we'll see. We'll let it dry. Let's see. We'll do something else. Let's do this one. I'll work the back of this. We're definitely getting Tim's glass mat with the white palette. A Sunday night, I'm going to set up my pink mat. Put my Memory Makers glass mat on there. I'm going to use my white little, since you want the white, <laughs> mat on the other side. And it's going to be exactly like Tim's. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that glass mat, I don't think that's going to help your area at all because what happens is your stuff is still going to creep. If one, when you work and if it creeps in on you, it's going to creep in on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because Tim says, you need another die cutter? <laughs> It won't do anything different than the other color. Oh, really? You would think it would, though, from the ocean. It looks like it's doing something there. <laughs> now, Paul was teasing about it, too, this morning. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am going to do that Sunday. It's like, do you guys really need that glass mat? Oh, I'm so sad that this is not doing anything different. Come on, it has to do something. I'm going to do with salt water on the top. <laughs> I wanted something like magical to happen. I mean, after all, it's got to be mermaid water. It's mermaid water. How can it not be magical? <laughs> uh, so let's see. What else should we pour on here? Let's do a little, let's do a little red. This is a terrible brush. I don't like this brush at all, but. Now look at that. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it, right there? It's like spreading out like that. It has to do something magical. <laughs> you need the glass mat. No, you don't. <laughs> Now I'm so disappointed. I would be like, oh man, I was like, wow, this is really going to be like awesome. <laughs> and look at that. Maybe I didn't put enough water in the first one because look how that's spreading. Do you see how that's spreading? I might not have used, and plus I sprinkled it with regular water first. You see it? Like how it spreads? <laughs> you do? You don't, Debbie. <laughs> Tell her. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's take another blue. You see? It does spread a little bit more, but I added, actually added more water. You're going to wait for Paula to get hers first? I can't even believe Paula is getting it. She's always talking about how she can get um, something else that looks exactly like their, hers. And she has a glass mat. She should just put her glass mat on her table. <laughs> oh. Should I take that ink? What ink? What ink? I missed it. <laughs> what does she need? <laughs> what is it? Uh, I love those mats. They're a bit sticky, but not too much. Oh, you have to tweet that for me. I can't click on it now. But look how that. So now, will that do with regular water? Will that do the same thing? Let's see. Let me get another piece. Because that does look. See how it's like spreading out like that? Let's see if that will work with another piece of paper. <laughs> but it's Timmy's. That's what Debbie says. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to do one more trial. Oh, and then we're going to use the gold. And then I got to go. Usually we watch, um, Saturday night, I usually watch, uh, do any of you guys watch on Amazon Prime um, the movies, um, The Man in the High Castle? Oh my gosh, we are watching that now. It's like so good. All right, I'll try it again. So let's wet this whole thing with this water. So this is the ocean water from Manasquan, beach water. So it's soft wa salted water, so I thought it would do something like awesome, <laughs> but it's not. I don't think I will send Paul. <laughs> you won't? <laughs> For seawater? <laughs> you won't? You won't, Joan? Joan? So she's not going to send Paul paddling in the sea to get her some seawater. <laughs> well, it's not, not that magical, so... I wanted it to be, though. <laughs> All right, so let's try this again. 
So, um, oh, I did it with the seawater. We're doing it with regular water. Oh my gosh, girls. I'll flip it over on the back and I'll do it with regular. Well, this part on the bottom is not quite, so maybe I can do it on the bottom here. Let's see what happens. You can send, I can send you all the seawater. I have all the seawater. <laughs> I just wanted to see if we'd do something different. Wait, this is plain water at the bottom, so let's see. You see how it's spreading there? So is this going to do the same? Will it spread just like that? So let's see. Let me see. So it does kind of. Although this one looks like maybe it might be spreading a tad more, don't you think? <laughs> I want it to be magical. Ah. So this is spreading, but it's kind of, I don't think it's spreading like that one, do you? <laughs> Why is Timmy love you different than Jane Denport? Why is Timmy? Oh, <laughs> why is Timmy's love? It's not Denise. <laughs> I'm just teasing her. <laughs> You're supposed to be on my side, not on Debbie's side. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm not ignoring you. I see you, Denise. <laughs> uh, Seawater will make it stink. No, it won't. It doesn't stink. But it doesn't do anything different, that's for sure. So that's kind of disappointing. Ugh. I could have bottled it. Maybe make a fortune. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> water is more than water. It is tap. Yeah, but it's salt water. It's salted. It should do something. What? Do you ever hear of whiskey painters? No. What's that? You can guess what they are. Um, whiskey. <laughs> and he used Coca-Cola. Really? Coca-Cola water? Yeah. <laughs> you just had to answer. That's okay, Denise. <laughs> yes, you made me snip it. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm still thinking... I still want it to spread. It has to spread. <laughs> a little more. Let me try this. Let me try the green. The colors on this palette are nice, though. I have to say that. It does. I think it does. I don't know. Don't you think? It kind of, like, spurs out, like... See where this one, it didn't do kind of like that, or like this is doing. Don't you feel like it's like moving, like it's moving out more? <laughs> uh, try it with the inks. Oh, let's see. Let me try it with this. Uh, with this, I'm gonna try. I have this one right here. So I put the other ones away. Let's try this one. This one is uh, which one is this? The raw sienna one. I can write, there we go. See, like, don't you feel like, I feel like it does spread out more. See how that, like, waves out like that? This doesn't seem to be doing that. That looks like it's doing that. Like, even here, see it here? Like, it's like, I don't have enough water on there, but that looks like it's doing that. No? <laughs> Alright, let's try let's try the glitter ink. And then I'm gonna use that gold one and then I'm gonna get going. Alright, so here's more seawater. So this is which one is this one? Is this a gold? I think this one's a gold. <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh, what are they drinking is right, Jeannie. Now look how that spread right away. Now maybe you could see the glitter in that. Uh, probably have to wait till it dries. <laughs> what? You don't know if it's true. Well, ocean water is not great to paint with. Take a bottle of normal water with yourself because ocean 
seawater has a lot of salt in it and makes colors lighter and it's not good for your paper because watercolors are acid free ocean water is a bit more acidy or base so oh I wasn't going to take with me I was going to take regular water I just wanted to see what if ocean water would do anything different like after all mermaid has to know <laughs> mermaid's gotta know I want to try to get that glitter to actually show up you can see it maybe a little bit <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Eileen would know the scientific data about painting with ocean water. <laughs> ah. But I love this glitter ink. This glitter ink. Jennifer, you need this glitter ink. There's so much glitter in there, you just can't get over the glitter. Darn, I really wanted that ocean water to do something spectacular. <laughs> Oh, can you, you might never see it. <laughs> All right, so let me just do this. And let's try this, and then I'm going to go. So this is the dye. What's it called? Diamond. Diamond. You see it? Tropical Glow. And it's D-I-A-M-I-N-E. It's supposed to have a lot of shimmer in it also. So I wonder if I need to shake. Oh, yeah, let's shake this up. <laughs> Joan. Oh, my gosh. Did you see what Joan says? It could have mermaid pee in it. That's why it's not working. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if I shook this enough. Oh, yeah. All right. So let me take this. Clean this one out. Good. All right. Let me bring this other. Darn, darn, darn. Oh, well. At least we gave it a shot. So we'll see. All right. So let's see what this does. So I'm going to put some water on here. It's just regular water. <laughs> oh. That's right. Linda says mermaid, <laughs> mermaid pee has glitter in it, so that can't be true. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Now, now, I don't know if this has shimmer in it. Oh, this is what your color Patty would love. Look at that color. So let's see if it does have any shimmer in it. Well, I might not have shaken it good enough. I'm going to take my heat gun out. So, heat gun! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got, it's got glitter. Like, kind of like shimmer. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I'll have to show this one to Patty. She would love this one. So, I don't know if you could see. Let's see if you could see the shimmer in there. Right right in there. Can you? And of course, I can never get it to work. But it does have shimmer. Not as much as her gold one in the painting that she sent me. I'll have to try the gold, but it is shimmery. So I love that. All right, so let's just try the gold paste one, and then I'm going to call it a day. So, yeah, doesn't really do anything. Can you see the glitter? Oh, now you can see the glitter. See the glitter in that glitter ink? See how much glitter is there? Jennifer, you need that. <laughs> now, Jennifer, what did you get? Did you go? You went to Hobby Lobby, didn't you? Did you get anything? we got to see your haul. All right, so let's try this paste. So I'm going to um, just flip it on the back of this. Alright, so this is supposed to be a, a paste-like. Oh, it is. Can you see that? Oh, I did it right. So this is... Can you see it? It's just like a gold paste. 
cookie creamy gold paste. And so he actually used a fountain pen with his. He made it thin enough where he actually, um, Paul Anthony, he actually inked it. And But then he said you could use it for other things, too, depending on what you wanted, how thin it was. Oh, this is pretty. Wow, that's pretty. I'm going to add this to something that's wet already. Can you see that gold? Look at that. No, you worked. You didn't go there? Oh, my gosh, Jennifer. Let's add it to some of this and see what happens. Mm. That is yummy. Let's add some more water here. Sprinkle it on. Wow, that was really pretty. Can you see that? Can you see the gold? Uh, right there. Right there. Yes, I did, Jennifer. Those texture plates. Yes, I want those, of course. <laughs> All right, so let's add a little bit on here. The red. I'm going to add that with my seawater. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's pretty. That is really shiny. Can you see that right there? Right there, right, right there. There you can see it. It's really pretty gold. You can see that there. And so you could thin it out or make it as thick as you want. Gross, what's gross? <laughs> I missed it. What is gross? All right, so that is going to be it for me and my little haul. We did try the seawater. <laughs> Didn't work as well as I wanted. <laughs> so tomorrow, I don't know what we'll do tomorrow, but we'll do something. So tomorrow, 7.30. That product that I used, the gold. And I want to um, let this ink dry. That is, I got it off of Jet Pens. And it's a Kuretake, um it's called, I think if you put it in Kuretake Gold Paste, because it's all in, you know, Japanese or whatever it is, made in Japan. Um, it doesn't, let me see, hold on here, where's my little magnifying glass? You just have to punch in jet pens and put in gold paste, Kuretake Gold Paste. I'm trying to see if it says anything here. Now it's all in um, Japanese. So this is what the little bottle looks like. So it's just a small bottle. So I blame everything on Janet. <laughs> uh, what? I, oh, they walk, Mylene. <laughs> all right, so I will see you tomorrow at 7.30. Thanks for uh, coming and watch my little haul. <laughs> um, Yep, and I'll keep an eye out for some more books, and then uh, maybe Wednesday or Sunday I will. Well, I can't. They're closed on Sunday, so after we Wednesday. There, Jennifer Rise. Mica Paste 30 Gram Gold Kurtaki. So. <laughs> uh, all right, so we did my little test of the mermaid water. And I, I still, it has shimmer in it, but I just, I'm sure the camera's not going to pick it up. Because it's so fine, the shimmer. It's really fine, but it's a pretty color. Definitely Patty would love this color. So, All right, so I am going to say good night, and I will see you guys um, tomorrow. <laughs> so, <sighs> there All right, thanks, everyone. <laughs> bye. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Joan. Thanks for staying up. <laughs> see you tomorrow.